fire The way you walk and talk Really sets me off for the fun of child Oh, yes it does Good morning, good afternoon, good evening family Let me share this article with y'all Welcome to the mental house, whatever side of the diaspora that you own. Let me send love. Uh, let me send clean air. Let me send protect the environment energy. To those of y'all who don't think that's very important, I'm here to tell you that it is. I'm here to tell you that it is. So... I'm dealing with this article and I'm like, okay, where's the reprieve? Where is the damn reprieve? This stuff done got my grandbaby uh sick. Anyway, listen to this, y'all. Chicago residents, Milwaukee residents were warned to stay indoors or wear masks. And the popular paths along Lake, Lake Michigan are quiet. Chicago, Wisconsin, and much of the upper Midwest were blanketed with us, are blanketed with a smoky haze from Canadian wildflower fires on Tuesday, leaving many residents of the nation's third largest city startled by the sudden decline in air quality and dawning masks when they ventured outside. Chicagoans were largely spared severe effects from the wildfires earlier this month when dangerous smoke affected the northeast and pockets of the Midwest for days on end. But they had no reprieve on Tuesday when the authorities classified the air as unhealthy and in the city or and in other parts of Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Michigan, and Minnesota. In Chicago, the air quality index reached 209 by noon. The worst reading of any major city in the world for that day. And according to IQ Air, a Swiss quality, oh man, it's just, man, y'all, this is crazy. Because I ain't never experienced nothing like this. Um, back to the article. It's just messed up. Believe me when I tell you, we can't hardly breathe in this crap. Um, oh my God. I mean, I'm wearing a mask, but the, the, the air is so damn thick. Um, it's just, Detroit is hazardous at 306. I think we come in at 244. Um, it's nothing nice. Um, th it, anyway, Chicago air again, like I said, reached 209 by noon, the worst index of any reading. Air Swiss Quality ne ne Technology Company in Green Bay, Wisconsin, um, the index was 175 in Grand Rapids, Michigan, it soared to 255. Any reading above 100 on the index is a warning to people. Wisconsin index is steady climbing. Mayor Brandon Johnson of Chicago warned residents, especially children, older people, and those with heart or lung disease, to stay indoors if possible, to wear masks, and if they had to be outside, to avoid the worst effects of the smoky air. I'm telling y'all, without a doubt, this summer, cities across North America have seen unhealthy levels of air quality as a result of wildfire smoke impacting over 20 million people from New York, Washington, D.C., Montreal, and today 
here in Chicago. And y'all know the same weather Chicago get we get. Because we only like 80 miles away from each other. So, this concerning episode demonstrates and underscores the harmful impact that the climate crisis is having on our residents. But they are here to tell you that there is no such thing as global warming. Now, Minnesota is experiencing, what, 245. Similar levels of smoke and possibly even thicker concentrations were expected Tuesday in other cities, including Milwaukee. Today uh, would normally be looked at as a beautiful day to go outside. But uh, according to the forecasters with the National Service Office in Milwaukee, wrote, but smoke is reducing visibility to only a mile to three miles today. Conditions are expected to improve, but the haze is expected to linger on until Wednesday or Thursday. Officials in New York warned that the smoky skies may return to their state on Wednesday. Due to incoming winds tonight and ongoing Canadian wildfires, New York City could also... Um, experience worse air quality tomorrow, said Mayor Eric Adams. Many people in the city of Chicago and Milwaukee seem caught off guard by the sudden influx of smoke since the city is rarely affected by air pollution from wildfires. Has anyone noticed a weird sacred smell in the neighborhood? Asked one Northside resident um, on the north next door forum this morning. Yeah. Summer camps scramble to make new plans for the children, keeping them indoors and away from the polluted air. Along the shore of Lake Michigan in areas that are usually thick with runners, bicyclists, beach goers, bicyclists, bicyclists, I'm sorry, and beach goers during summer, mild summers, the lakefront is deserted. Man, this is insane. The state veterinarian's office in Michigan issued alert to people who own animals, reminding the owners that strenuous activity should be avoided and that even birds can be affected by the unhealthy air. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all think we plan up here. California. Woo. We coming to join you. We're small everywhere. Uh, all right, y'all. What y'all think about this? It's crazy. All right. Anybody experiencing this fog where they live? Tell me. I got a, a few uh, subscribers and listeners in the Midwest, especially in Detroit, in the D. Well, um, let me know how, how, how it's working out for you. Wearing masks today? I got on a mask. You know, and then my house is kind of hot. Because I don't like a lot of stuff on, and I have to cover up if, if, if I'm going to have the windows open. So, with that being said, let me know how y'all feeling out there. I hope everybody's safe. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share the channel. Please like the video, please like the video, please like the video, please watch the commercials, y'all. I mean, I know a lot of y'all can't donate to the channel. I get it. You know, but it would be like nice to know that you hear me. Be nice to know that you with me. Be nice to know that you out there by at least leaving a like, watching watching the commercials, leaving a comment. And for that, I'll be very grateful. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.